Your ridiculous questions are so annoying. I'm not even. I ask questions. I'm a journalist. That's what we do. Hello, citizens. Got another citizen journalist targeted by police. Just wanting to report on his story. Thankfully, he wasn't arrested this time. Because if he's like many other prisoners in the United States, he would likely be. his medicine and medical treatment and as we'll see in the video the gentleman is has a rare form of form of cancer we'll see if the officers offer any type of accommodation for his illness for his suffering or if they just do what they want what do you guys think is going to happen hmm United Nations, what do you think is going to happen, United Nations? Do you think they're going to respect this gentleman and take, you know, show compassion for his illness or will they just do what they want? So what I want you to notice here is in both these instances, his hand are, his hands on the citizen's arms in the exact same place, exact same way, before and after they enter and exit the elevator. I'm going to play this one in slow-mo. You can see it never moves, never moves, never moves. And it's coming up to a better angle soon. You can get a better look. So we can see that it's above the dorsal ulnocarpal ligament and holding the ulna, the officer's left hand, and the right is above is holding the humerus above the joint capsule, which is where it will remain. You can see it's the officer's index finger, behind it his thumb, maintaining control of, of the joint. Okay, now pay attention to what the citizen says and how the police respond or don't respond. You, you have your arm on me. You're forcefully removing me. Don't say absolutely not when you're doing it. You're doing it right now. He is forcefully removing me from this thing. Yeah, and you can see the thumb the other side from this building I have legal and lawful business I am being forcefully removed please sir remove your hands from me sir please remove your hands from me you have no legal authority to touch me right now sir you have no legal authority to touch me sir please so the officer tells them he's not being forcibly removed with even though they're hands-on more blue logic. That's criminal blue logic. It's criminal. What they're doing is criminal. Come on, UN. What are you going to do? Step in. Step in, UN. Do something. No, you just want to divide up the world into 70 countries. Establish or create the largest open air concentration camp, likely in the history of humanity, hopefully in the history of humanity. That's what you want to do. You want to create concentration camps instead of protecting citizen journalists' rights. Come on, UN, step up. Step up. I only graduated high school, and I, I know this is against international law. I know it's against domestic law. And it's against God's law. Please remove your hands from me, sir. I have a rare form of blood cancer. Please remove your hands from me. It's starting to hurt my injection site, sir. Let's go, sir. Okay. You can see the officer never moved. And he never moved. He doesn't care. 
doesn't care about a rare form of cancer's in med medical injection site or the suffering of the citizen. Suffering encourages compliance, right? Pain compliance. We gotta. We we need to inflict pain on citizen journalists who are pointing out that police are erasing evidence. Really, this is what we do? This is what we do in the disinformation age of no return? Well, one way or another it's coming to an end. Either we the people stand up or we the people cease to exist. That's our choices. They have their bunkers. Do you? Stay strong, citizens. The world is going to be blown to pieces. We have stupid people now running our country. The world is going to be blown to pieces.